that section of the play is based very loosely on Plato's Symposium. And there is the character Alcibiades who gives this eulogy to Socrates. And it's a piece of writing in Plato that I really love. That actually, that whole, that whole dialogue, the symposium, uh, is not only one of my favorite dialogues, I consider it the first novel ever written. That's just my opinion. Um, and I felt that it would be fitting as an introduction to Socrates to, to come at him through uh, a eulogy, somebody um, whose association with Socrates would end up haunting Socrates for the rest of his life, uh, eulogizing him and describing him to a group of fellow admirers and therefore the audience getting a kind of background about Socrates that would also at the same time be fun and funny and ebullient uh, and display a kind of privileged Athens, uh, which that scene does, um, that also is going to end up being very important for the way the play works. It's, a, it's an unconventional way to start a play, but among other things, thankfully, we have this wonderful actor named Austin Smith mm -hmm. who drives that section of the play. Um, Michael is in a kind of duet with him in that section, and we all know how great Michael is. <laughs> and then this incredibly generous ensemble that includes Peter Jay uh, is also participating in that scene in just um, wildly generous support, even though they don't have many lines. And that teaches the audience how to watch the play. Uh, because there are, gonna, there are going to be a lot of scenes with a lot of people, and often the people within the scenes, the majority of them, won't say much. They'll just be there to experience Socrates. Mm -hmm.